Chapter 3 Integrated Task Academic Lecture Unit 5 Academic, General, Specific Directions In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using the information from both the reading passage and the talk. After you hear the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Sample Practice Now read the passage about consumer's remorse. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture about consumer's remorse. Okay, so I'd like to give you my example of the impact of consumer's remorse. Last year my car had broken and what I was told by the repair person was that I had to buy a new one. Actually, having a new one for the first time in my life, I did all of the research. In all of the researching, I had a few interactions with the salesman, read the reviews on the internet, and compared the prices online and offline. You know, it was going to be my first new car. I was so excited. After purchasing the car, I was on cloud nine, just as you are when you get your new computer or when you get new jewelry you really wanted. That feeling lasted for a week or so, but as time passed, that sense of remorse, uh, the sense of regret was rising inside. Was it the best choice? Was it the perfect time to buy the car? I was starting to regret and tried to renounce the purchase. But then I got a phone call from the car company. The salesman asked me if there was any problem and then asked if I was satisfied with my purchase. He said my car got the best car reviews of the month. The company happened to give me a call just at the moment I was starting to regret. It means they gave a call to the customer to ensure that his purchase was the best bet. I got this call monthly and I stopped regretting. After receiving their phone calls, I totally blew off my anxiety. Describe consumer's remorse based on the lecture and how the car company dealt with this problem. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. The professor gives his own example of consumer's remorse based on his own experience when he first got his own car. Because it was his once-in-a-lifetime purchase, he tried to make a solid decision, so he did lots of research and asked people about cars and then finally got one. But the problem was that after a week had passed, he started to regret and wonder whether it was a right decision or not. At that very moment, the professor got a call from the car company, and they reassured him that his purchase was the best choice. Receiving these calls regularly for a month, the professor stopped worrying about and regretting about his purchase. Practice Test Practice 1 Now read the passage about forgetting. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture on this topic in a psychology class. Okay, so today let's talk about forgetting. Is there anyone who ever forgot an important appointment and didn't know what to do? Well, I guess there isn't anybody who hasn't become aware of this term, right? Well, the psychologists say that forgetting is divided into several types. Decay theory is one of them. As the word suggests, our memories are decaying as we do not use it. For example, let's say you have to call the dean's office and you don't remember the number. So your friend tells you the number, but two hours after making the phone call, you forget the number again. In this case, your memories are fading away as time passes. But the interference theory, on the other hand, means that you forget your memories as they are interfered by other memories. I once experienced this at a bookstore. I had some books I wanted to get, so I made a list and headed to the bookstore. When I arrived at the bookstore, I realized that I had left the list in my car. But telling myself, it's going to be okay, I already remember the list. I just headed to the bookstore. A few minutes later, I bumped into a friend of mine and we talked about the books he picked. We talked about that for a while and then he asked me what I bought. So I told him I didn't buy any yet, but I'm going to get... Uh, you know what happened. I totally forgot the whole list. Not even a single title came to my mind. I only remembered the book my friend mentioned. 
Describe the two different types of forgetting based on the lecture. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. The professor gives two types of forgetting. The first type is the decay theory, where the memories, as the name suggests, decay when time passes. So when we ask our friend for the dean's phone number, to our friend and after making a phone call, that memory fades away. So we end up forgetting the number. The other type is the interference theory. Memories are bothered by other memories or ideas in this case. For example, when the professor headed to the bookstore after memorizing a list of books he needed, he met a friend and talked about several other books. When his friend asked him why he was there, the professor had forgotten the list of books he needed because the several other books mentioned by his friend interrupted his memory from recalling the book list. Practice 2. Now read the passage about cyclic population change. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. Okay, class, today we'll be looking at one aspect of the ecosystems, cyclic population change. As time passes by, species increase or decrease their population due to many different situations that are around them. This phenomenon is rather interesting because the population of these species returns to its original condition after it finishes its cycle. Let me give you an example of this. Let's take a look at wolves and mice. In the beginning, there are numerous mice and only a few packs of wolves. So these wolves have plentiful food sources that can fill up their stomachs. Therefore, there is a significant increase in the number of wolves and a decrease in mice. However, as time passes, the decrease in mice causes problems for the wolves because there isn't enough food for them to eat. As a result, wolves slowly begin to die off, giving time for the mice to reproduce. So the whole process repeats itself again. Using points and examples from the lecture, describe the changes among wolves and mice. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. In the lecture, the professor explains about cyclic population change by using mice and wolves as an example. Cyclic population change refers to the population of species changing due to certain circumstances and returning back to the original state after the cycle completes. In the beginning, there were many mice, but a few wolves in existence in the same environment. The professor says that the wolves dined on mice in order to survive, and this caused the population of mice to decrease, while the number of wolves increased. However, this decrease in mice caused a problem because the wolves didn't have enough food sources, as a result, they died and the mice reproduced.